Good morning. Today let's discuss about absorbing Marco chain. A Marco chain is absorbing if it has at least one absorbing state and it is possible to go from a very non-absorbing state to at least one absorbing state. First one is a Marco chain is called absorbing if first one it has at least one absorbing state. Then I think, do you remember what you mean by absorbing state? A state I of the Marco chain is called absorbing if P I J equal to 1, if I equal to J and equal to 0, if I not equal to J. That is, the system cannot move further once it has reached the state I. That is the first condition for the absorbing chain. Then what is the second condition? It is possible to go from a very non-absorbing state to at least one absorbing state. Not necessarily in one step. Clear? Okay, let's do a problem. Check whether the given matrix is from absorbing Marco chain. Okay. S1, S2, S3, S4. S1, S2, S3, S4. 1, 0, 0, 0. 1 by 2, 0, 0, 1 by 2. Here we have 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Here 0, 0, 0, 1. We have to check whether it is this matrix is from an abs up, whether this matrix is from an absorbing Marco chain. Let's draw the graph. Here we have S1. S1, S2, S3 and S4 for answer. Okay. From here S1 to S1 is possible. It is S1 to S1 possible. Then what about S2? S2 to S1 possible. S2 to S1 possible. And S2 to S4 is also possible. S2 to S4 is also possible. And in case of S3, S3 to S1 possible. S2 to S3, S3 to S1 possible. And S3 to S2 possible. S3 to S2 possible. Then S3 to S3 possible. And S3 to S4 also possible. Okay. Then for S4, S4 to S4 only. Then look here. S1 to S1 possible and S4 to S4 only possible and from S2 to S1 possible, S3 to S1 possible and S2 to S4 possible and S3 to S4 possible. That means S1 and S4 are absorbing states. S1 and S4 are absorbing states. And this can be reached from S2 and S3. And this can be reached from This can be reached from 
S2 and S3. Hence, this chain is from absorbing Marco chain. Hence, this chain is this chain is from an absorbing absorbing Marco chain. Marco chain. Clear? Then let's do another problem also. Let's do another problem. Check whether uh, the metrics are from absorbing Marco chain. S1, S2, here also S1 and S2. 1, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Okay. Here, P11 equal to 1 and P12 equal to 0. 1, 1 equal to 1 and 1, 2 equal to 0 and S2, then S2 to S1 possible, S2 to S2 is also possible. Therefore, S1 is an absorbing state, S1 is an absorbing state. S1 is an absorbing state. And it can be, it can be reached from, reached from S2 also. From the diagraph, it is clear S1, S2, S1 to S2 possible, S2 to S1 possible and S2 to S2. So is also possible. Hence the given matrix is from. Hence the given matrix is from absorbing Marco chain. Absorbing Marco chain. Clear? Clear? Let's do another one. Let's do one more problem. Okay. S1, S2, S3. Yeah. S1, S2, S3. 1, 0, 0. 0, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. 0, 1 by 3, 2 by 3. And the, its diagram is S1, S2, S3. S1 to S1 only possible. S2 to S2 possible. And S2 to S3 possible. And what about S3? S3 to S2 possible and S2 to S3 possible. Okay. Here S1 is the only, S1 is the only absorbing state. Only absorbing state. And it cannot be reached from S2 and S3. It cannot be reached from, it cannot be reached from S2 and S3. Hence, it is not from, hence this matrix is not from an absorbing Marco chain. Not from absorbing Marco chain.
we have done three problems i think you could understand the concept of absorbing marco chain thank you